2018 was off to an absolutely phenomenal start when it came to the financial performance of the Hindi film industry. After coming out of the disastrous year that was 2017, which included multi-star comedies and show short superstars, the Khans underperforming. 2018 boasted of some very interesting projects which had the potential of breaking many records. On 1st June 2018, a movie called Veere the Wedding released, boasting to be a game changer pertaining to the portrayal of women in Hindi cinema, and was heavily advertised as a moment that will go down in history. Four leading women not chasing men in a movie. How revolutionary. Very few looked past the inability of the movie to change anything when it comes to the regressiveness of Hindi cinema and stormed into theatres leading to its success financially. What everyone forgot about was that on the same day, with limited shows playing, an absolutely spectacular superhero film released, featuring Harshwardhan Kapoor titled Bhavish Joshi Superhero, directed by the skilled Vikramaditya Motwane. Here's me introducing a film that made a gross revenue of close to 1.5 crores only and was made on a budget of 20 one crores and critics denounced by mentioning its jarring length and screenplay. The movie in many ways provided for the portrayal of the most real Indian superhero origin story. And here's why you should watch it on Netflix when you get the chance. Telling all stories. Before telling you why the film is freaking awesome, I just want to defend the film by talking about the criticism it faced. Many of our reputed journalists stated that the movie's story was not engaging enough, the villain was not menacing enough, the stakes were too low, and the characters too optimistic and noble. The problem is that we as viewers have been extremely spoiled. We are used to seeing the Avengers combating creatures from another planet, demigods dealing with the goddess of death, and Spider-Man and Mysterio dealing with the multiverse. We are used to watching superhero stories of national and international scale dealing with consequences which lead to the impending doom of multiple universes. The moment there is a story, a truly human and believable origin story, dealing with problems the common man faces, the stakes are too low for us. The charming feature of films like Kick Ass and Mart Ko Dard Nahi Hota is the belief in humans to change aspects that plague our society on the ground level, no matter how outlandish it sounds. The movie which focuses on a group of friends that are restless at the complacency shown by our population towards corruption, red tape and bureaucratic problems, take matters into their own hands with the venture of Insaf TV, dressing up in paper bags, catching people, breaking the law guiding them to take the right path and taking affirmative action against unjust business practices. When matters become more than they can chew, who carries on to fight the system and who gives up to be just a part of the problem? It's important as creators that no matter what the scale of the story is that it's engaging, believable and moving. That's all you need. The struggle of any local population not getting running water for multiple days in a week, no matter how inconsequential it sounds from a movie standpoint, is an issue a large population of the country faces. This necessity and the right of citizens treated as a commodity taken away is a theme very well executed by the creators. Realism and Mumbai The refreshing quality about any Vikramaditya Motwane film is realism. His filmography always presents characters that we have either seen or interacted with. Whether it's Rohan from Uran, Paki in Lutera, or even Shorya in Trapped. All characters and the way they interact with others and deal with the circumstances they are in are always believable and most importantly, never outlandish. The beauty of the film are twofold. The characters and the way Mumbai has been captured. These characters, Sikku, Bhavesh and Rajat are individuals we have been around. The banter they share, the journey of self-discovery they are on, and just the thrill to venture into the unknown are all feelings we have shared with our peer group. Mumbai is beautifully captured. It never does the portrayal of a city like every other commercial movie, panning across monuments and popular sites that every layman would recognize. It showcases character and aspects of Mumbai that every local citizen can recognize and genuinely appreciate on how apt and real the frames are. Siddharth Diwan has beautifully shot the film. Romantic scenes don't need anything grand, just plastic stools and chili chicken on the table. Establishments are densely populated, there is torrential rain and the population is unaffected. The roofs are leaking and Mumbai carries on. If you thought that the Doom franchise had some great chase sequences, see this movie and you will appreciate the simplicity and effectiveness with which the city has been utilized. Camera panning through a long shot and POV angles provided as the hero passes through tight spaces, the movie visually is stunning. It doesn't require saturated colors and big sets. The characters and the city are more than enough to charm us. 
human nature. The film provides for a very honest representation of humans and our Indian bureaucratic systems. How facts and information are provided to us, but the source have several layers and agendas. How the population is split between the people who drink on the weekends and complain about corruption and our political leaders and people who actually try to change something, no matter how small the matter. Some people devote their entire life towards a particular cause with little to no results. And some live their entire life in the ivory towers doing nothing but creating a lot of noise. Are the systems too archaic and impenetrable that we actually cannot make changes? Or are we that cowardly that we can't take the extra step of uncomfortability and actually engage the masses to come together? All these themes are understated and it's one of the most refreshing qualities of any Motwane film. Perfect Origin and Fate Harshwardhan Kapoor honestly gets a lot of flack online, coming from a place of privilege and being extremely vocal and honest about actors' capabilities and their rewards. He has been on the receiving end of a lot of hate. One thing, however, that would be very clear after Bhavish Joshi is that this man is a very capable actor, providing a wide range, convincingly communicating moments of angst, helplessness and ultimate vengeance. I cannot possibly spoil the story for you as it is actually designed as a great Indian superhero origin story. I know due to its disastrous financial performance, the resurgence of this character is close to impossible. But I urge you to revisit it or see it for the first time on Netflix. Its emphasis on themes of friendship, perseverance and determination to fight for the truth and finally belief, the one catalyst prevalent in our favorite superheroes, is beautifully captured. And that was the video guys. Write down in the comments below if you've seen the movie, what you thought about it and whether you're going to venture into Netflix to check it out. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle's right in front of you. Follow me at JammyPans4. Also, please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.